Welcome back everyone. Today I've got my hands on a Poke Audio 404B 10 inch subwoofer beast. And I must say I'm absolutely pleased with the subwoofer. It's absolutely fantastic. The sub is just, uh, it, it's more than the house can actually handle. There's everything that's rattling when it's playing through its uh, maximum bass test. Uh, but uh, a, a very good, otherwise relatively compact sub, if I, if I might say so. Um, just to give you a very quick review, it's a 10-inch uh, active subwoofer uh, in the Poke Audio range. Uh, slightly one of the older subs right now, um, but 10-inch uh, nevertheless. Very high roll base uh, um, uh, surround on the uh, subwoofer itself allows for maximum excursion, which is what you want from a subwoofer itself. This is the ported box and the base ports at the back and the rear, so I'll show that to you in a moment. Um, but uh, it's a polymer composite um, uh, made subwoofer, 10-inch like I said, and uh, it's got this proprietary sort of uh, range of uh, material that Poke Audio used on their subwoofer surrounds. Real wood veneer, but it's got a slight brown tinge to it, which I quite like. Uh, but nevertheless, let's have a look at the back of the um, subwoofer itself. And you can see the model number, there we go. Uh, it has got your volume button, your face switch, your on and off and standby. You can have your high level input as well as your low frequency input. And you can see the base port all the way at the bottom. Plenty of space for the sub to breathe. Um, this is a 240 volted um, amplified sub. You've got your speaker in and outputs there to take over some of your low range frequencies if you want to run a 2.1 system on its own. Massive, massive heat sinks at the back. The sub draws a lot of power so it, it needs uh, ample cooling. And um, for what you really want to listen to is the uh, sub test. Oh, just to let you know, this thing has some really solid little feet on there. So if you have it on a wooden floor or a tile floor, you might want to put some um, uh, sponges on it just to help uh, soften the cushion, or cushion the, the sub itself. Although it might uh, shift around with the amount of excursion in the sub, in which case you might want to put some rubber feet. So I will play for you um, Maroon 5's Don't Wanna Know. I feel it's got quite a good um, sound to it, so let's have a quick listen to it. Oh, and before we get to that, just to give you some rough idea of dimensions, so we've got this sitting at around 40 centimeters width wise, we're looking at around 35 ish, and our height of approximately 36 -ish centimeters. Lovely little glow that sits in the front, makes it look quite classy. And let's do the quick base test. Here we go. Full of the mic might have been again for a sub with a sound test, but nevertheless, have a look at the excursion as soon as it kicks in. Bear with me one second, and here we go. The high end. Very low end, low end. I pulled it out right on the bottom end of the frequency. There we go, Poke Audio 404B. Get it while you can. <laughs> 